Hey team, uh, just letting everyone know, all of our instructors, that uh, we've purchased some Q uh, CPR uh, CPA mannequins. Um, the idea with them is that they have uh, sensors inside them that will Bluetooth to our phones um, to let us know how well uh, our students are doing uh, with CPR. Um, they're an awesome tool. They um, are going to be great for unit standard assessments. We can save the data um, from the student's performance as pr evidence of competence. And um, uh, they're also going to be, uh, they've got a race function, so we can have a whole lot of fun while we're teaching CPA in terms of competition and things like that. So some great opportunities, an awesome product that just turned up today, so I'm just, we're just figuring out how to uh, put them together. So I'll just show you uh, how it works. Um, as you all know, in order to change the lungs, it's the same thing. We just pop the skin off the chest there. Um, we just want to undo the lungs. The best way to do that is to tilt the patient's head slightly. Uh, to unhook the lungs here. Um, if you do it with your head back, it tends to tear them. So we fold the lungs out of the way, and the whole rib cage lifts out like so. And if you flip the rib, rib cage over, we'll find the spot for the battery. So if they go flat, um, we'll be carrying spare batteries with them. If they go flat, this is how to access the batteries. Um, once the batteries are in place, this, you'll hear a beep to know that it's, we're live. There's a rubber ring here which squeezes uh, over a, a, a notch here to stop the batteries coming out. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, once that's in, we don't, there's, there's no uh, on or off switch here, it's just automatically on. Um, we replace the rib cage by sliding everything back into its right posi. Like so, the lungs come back, head tilt, lungs spit on like so. And we're going to button the skin back on. Right, this, all the mannequins should all come like this, but in case you need to know how to change them. Excellent, so uh, now the, the mannequin is ready to use and ready to record, so um, we're going to show you how to set that up uh, shortly. Wait, are we keeping going? Yep. Um, this, is the, uh, this is the app, the top one here, QCPR Instructor. So you need to download that app uh, onto your phone. Uh, once you've done that, it'll look like uh, this and uh, we can open it up here. So you can see there's a, there's a couple of different options. There's compression only stuff on the left there, which we can start a one minute sequence there. You can change the length of the time on the bottom here, how long you'd like the, the person to perform for. Um, or we can do full CPR, which monitors the breaths and the chest compressions at the same time. Before you get started with that though, uh, we need to make sure we've got the right mannequins hooked up. So this top right hand function here, when I push that, it says I've already got um, LA1 or number one mannequin set up there. Each mannequin is going to have a number on the bottom right there that you can see. Um, that's why you'll know. So we're going to stick with the numbers on your phones the same as it's on the mannequin. Um, now all we need to do to initiate um, the next mannequin is, is to click on this. And if I do a couple of chest compressions... Cool, so as soon as I do that, it's defaulted to call it LA1, this here, so um, I just gotta make sure I don't stuff this up. Um, so we're gonna call this one LA2. Awesome. Awesome, so um, if I go into my mannequins here, I can see that I've got two mannequins, one and two are set up here. Um, we've got a total of four mannequins, um, so we can have more if we want to. Um, basically, as soon as you power the mannequin up, your, this app will um, get you to connect with the mannequin and um, you'll be away, so that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, once you're um, hooked up, um, you have an option of doing a compression-only minute or more, or um, compressions and breaths in there. And I know on here I've got there's two mannequins that are set up in here. So if, if I go to just compression-only and I push start in here, the time's going to start when I start pushing. I can see that I've got Little Annie 1 and Little Annie 2 um, already in here. So um, when someone starts pushing on those mannequins, um, something's going to happen on the screen. So I'll just lay my phone down. Cool. And you can see from the uh, screen there that um, it's measuring the depth that I'm pushing on the mannequin in there and that my rate of chest compression uh, needs to be inside that green uh, section there on the right hand side. So if I go too fast, 
I'm up there, and if I go too slow, I'm sitting outside that green. So in order to get 100%, I need to be in that green zone uh, for the entire minute, and I need to get the right uh, depth of chest compression as well. Awesome. And when we're finished, if I push end, um, I've, I've ended up with 85% um, out of 100 in terms of my efficiency there. If someone else had been using Little Annie 1 at the same time, both results would come up, would come up on the screen. Now from here, um, I can actually save those results. And, and it says here, would you like to add names? So I push add names, and under my result there, I can put me, and push done, and then push save. And then what I can do from here, finish that session, I can actually go into the top left here and I can go into saved results. And I can look at a history of uh, what's happened. So whether it's 30 to two, or whether it's just compressions and the student's name, and it automatically has a date on the other side there. So this is gonna be great for our uh, evidence of assessment for our NZQA uh, options there. Um, just going back to the training there, uh, we can do uh, two uh, breaths and chest compressions as well. So um, to do that, um, I push start on the right hand side of my screen. And I can start, click away here. And what it's going to do is measure whether I do 30 chest compressions uh, in between my two breaths. And it measures the breaths as well. It doesn't measure the efficiency of the breaths, it's more are you doing 30 chest compressions and then two breaths, but it knows that you've done the breaths. So let's imagine I've done 30 now. Two breaths. And then back into my chest compressions again. And if we finish that, if we do a whole minute of that and push end, I've somehow ended up with 92% and it gives me a little bit of advice which says you should ventilate two times per cycle, meaning I haven't quite done that correctly. I can save those results as well. Um, as far as the race, race mode in here, um, so just experiment with that, but we can have multiple uh, mannequins and multiple teams um, going through and doing several minutes, if we wanted to, of CPR and um, yeah. You'll figure it out as you go, sort of a thing. But basically, you can you can give it have a team name and uh, and match it with a colour, and um, and away we go. Awesome. So uh, a great bit of kit, and um, so uh, spend the time to get yourselves familiar with it. We'll probably end up trying to put one um, of these QCPA mannequins in with each set of uh, course gear. Um, so everyone can have that as, as one of their mannequins and from time to time we might be able to um, increase the number that we have on each course. If you have any questions, sing out, otherwise get amongst it. Yo.